TCI not Good happy morning. not happy with the plans that you have with regards to Zodiac. Um, how much do they speak for the rest of your shareholders? How many soundings have you done with shareholders? Do they generally like what you're trying to do with Zodiac? I believe they generally do. And indeed, if you look at the stock price since the announcement, it's testimony uh, to that view. What were, the board did last night in the letter which we released was set, set the record straight on a couple of points. Our track record in, to, in terms of our management of our portfolio is, is pretty good. Uh, we grouped together our security businesses, which we grew, developed and integrated them, and made then a strategic choice to dispose of that business. That's currently in the process, and uh, we shall generate a very healthy capital gain. First point, we're good at acquiring, we're good at integrating, and also, when we do decide for strategic reasons to sell, I think we sell well. Another example, when TCI first wrote to us in 2012, suggesting we should sell in Genico, if we had listened to their admonition then, we would have received 470 million. We did it within the following couple of years with, I think, good timing, and we got more, approximately 900 million. That's a difference of over 400 million. So I would argue that the Saffron Board and management are good stewards of shareholders' capital, and that record shows it. So you, you've set out your record there. So if any uh, commentators or perhaps shareholders wanted to suggest that maybe the Snecma Sagem merger in 2005 was, w didn't go as well as it could have done, or the acquisitions in security in 08 to 2011 uh, did not prove successful, you would dispute that. You would say that the, the board has a very strong record in M&A. I won't go back as far as 2005. Uh, I wasn't around. But in terms of our record, in terms of acquiring, integrating, and then making the right strategic call in terms of who is the best owner of a business, in the case of security, the track record speaks for itself. TCI says that this represents, quote, terrible return on investment for uh, shareholders. What do you say to them specifically on that point? There's also a suggestion that family and core holders are offered the share uh, and won't pay tax on gains, whereas minority holders will have to pay capital gains tax. Is, is, is this a, a, a dispute that you recognise? Well, that that's an issue which concerns Zodiac uh, shareholders. Uh, as chairman of the board of Safran, uh, my duty is to Safran shareholders. Uh, we consider, and we have uh, done very thorough analysis on the matter, that Zodiac is a sound business. 40% of the business, their aerosystems business, has been largely at, on, at the margin of the current difficulties, growth-linked difficulties they've had in their seating and cabin business. On the seating and cabin and business, they have had growth pains, but we're absolutely convinced then given the quality of their products, their market share, there is a path over the next two to three years, and indeed that is what the management of Zodiac have signaled to the market, there is a path to return to the very healthy margins uh, which they enjoyed until two to three years ago. So the combination yeah, of the quality of the... Ex I was just going to ask you, you're clearly not happy with what TCI has said. Are you, are you most unhappy about the objections they've raised or the tone and the publicity that they've given to this, uh, this dispute? I don't think it's a matter of being unhappy or otherwise. Uh, the board's response was based on sound facts. Uh, it's the duty of the board to be a good steward of shareholders' capital. Uh, we have a fundamental disagreement as a board with the views which TCI articulate. They believe that we should concentrate exclusively, virtually, on our aerospace propulsion business. It's a beautiful business, but they would, we do not want to be a one-trick pony. That would increase our dependence on one business, however great that business is. In the, we have a very successful aerospace equipment business, landing gear, breaks, nacelles, and Zodiac will grow that business. And that is exactly what other major players in aerospace are doing and, and have done. Take UTC, who acquired Goodrich. So the strategy, the long-term strategy, which industrial strategy with Saffron's board is implementing under the, guy, under the stewardship of management, is a long-term strategy which will create value for shareholders. And we do not accept the short-term logic, which would amount to milking the business, 
taking cash out and ultimately uh, increasing our dependence on one business, however great that business is. That's the fundamental you, disagreement between the board's point fear, of view and, and the TCI yes. point of view. Do you fear, Ross, that the deal could become could come unstuck as a result of the objections from TCI? They say they represent their own 4%, but also a further 10% of your shareholding. Uh, that's for them to speak to, not to me. OK. Um, uh, can I ask, ask you, how involved has the French state been in this deal, maybe giving it a, a, a blessing of some kind? Obviously, we sit on the verge of uh, potentially political change in France. Uh, I think there's great continuity uh, in, in both defence and aerospace industrial policy by the French government in all of all shades. Uh, the French state owns 14% of Safran. That has come down from 38% just a few years ago. The state's behaviour as a shareholder is impeccable in terms of governance. And indeed, in the case of the Zodiac deal, they, had, they were given the same information as the rest of our board. No more and no less. But their behaviour, once again, in terms of governance, is impeccable.